Sean Deeb won his first gold bracelet by taking down the $10,000 Pot Limit Hold'em Championship. Incredibly, directly after the win he hopped in the 10k Raz event and bagged up a top 5 chip stack to end the day. As a result, he had to skip a bracelet ceremony today, but CarPlayer TV caught up with him on a break in that event to learn about his big win last night in one of the series' championship events. Yeah, I mean, obviously this is one of the better ones to win. Uh, 10k buy-in, over 100 people, so... And obviously, to beat that many tough players, I mean, with the final 3-4 tables, there was just everyone knew what they were doing. Everyone was professional players who won a lot of money in poker. And so, even though I had a lot of chips, they were applying pressure because they knew what I was going to be playing, how aggressive I'd be playing, because they were playing back at me. Luckily, I had enough hands to play back at them enough, and when I did get it in, I sucked out a bunch um, for some of the shorter stacks, and then obviously got heads up and got lucky that Paul just decided to run a really big bluff when I had top full house, so made it really easy. We also asked Deep about playing Pot Limit Hold'em, a game not spread much in cash games or tournaments, and if it led to a lot of interesting dynamics. Yeah, I mean, I, the the nearest comparison I would say is it's basically like old school sit and goes that didn't have annies. That's probably the best comparison. Is you see like you have to play really tight early. People only are playing aces and kings from early position. Like ICM is a very big factor. There's just no not much money in the middle, so you can't really shove super wide. There's not really much value in three betting because people are opening too narrow. So it really was some weird dynamics, and I think everyone kind of was feeling their way out. I think on day one. If you put everyone at the final table who was there on day one, they would have played really bad. But by day three of the tournament, they figured out the differences of pop and hold them and figured out who was accumulating chips by playing what style and kind of mimicking them or going away from them if they thought what they were doing was wrong. And it was just, uh, I don't know. I still can't believe it happened. Like, so many things had to go right. I had two amazing players with more chips than me on my left in Volpe and Jason. And Jason ran really bad, so at the final table, and then the chips moved to my right. And then, obviously, three-handed, we played for like almost three hours. and. It was just crazy that there was no all-in showdowns. Like There really should have been a matchup of two big hands at some point, but we're all playing pretty conservatively, playing small pots, and that's kind of what happens in Potlum and Oldham. Finally, we asked Deeb, a high-stakes cash game and successful tournament player, if finally winning a bracelet was a big deal, or if it was more of a relief to just stop hearing that he was one of the best without a bracelet. I actually care a lot about the bracelet. I mean, that I've been playing a lot of the 1500s and stuff, turning down some bigger cash games that are running here because I kind of feel like this is my last full summer. Uh, I have a son, like, he's going to be two years old next year. I'm going to want to play with him. I want to be in Vegas. I want to be in the summer in the pool. So I really don't see myself, um, like, coming for six weeks straight. I still think I'm leaving at some point this year. Last year I left for three weeks. So, I mean, like, it's never I'm going to be one of those part-time World Series people. I'm not going to be that here for two months, play every day. So uh, I really want to get it out of the way. So down the road, I can tell my son, like, yeah, I was a professional poker player. Yeah, here's my bracelet. Like, and then now I'm just a dad. Congratulations to Sean Deeb, the 2015 WSOP 10K Pot Limit Hold'em champion. Make sure to stay tuned to Card Player for more coverage of the 2015 World Series of Poker.